rise royals all right let's go in and let's see what's going on inside of your connection okay we're gonna go in and we're gonna pull out some information um i want to go in and i want to get some raw <laughs> some raw truth here um I'm not sure exactly what i'm going to name this reading but i do want it to be um you know some raw shit you know if spirit wants to give me that okay so if this is the type of reading that you're looking for let's get started okay let's dive straight in spirit what is going on inside of this connection what's going on spirit what's going on inside of this connection So I see that something came down here. Something came crashing down. Wow. Yeah, something came crashing down here in your connection. Okay, something that, you know, you were really, um, really generously like giving to right i feel like you were really genuinely giving this connection all the love um that you could give it all the support that you should give it even if your person didn't have a lot of money i feel like you were still being very generous here i feel like someone is a very generous person right but although you were giving very generously you know, not I see that you're not what well, not only giving generously to your person, but you were giving generously to other people as well. I feel like I feel like you feel like a lot of people have taken advantage of you, right? If you look at this card, right? You see you see this old lady, right? Oh, I ain't even gonna say old lady, okay? We're gonna see we're gonna say very wise woman. There we go. There we go. You see this very wise woman here and she has, um, you know, this, this special bug, which I feel like was you. Okay. She has this bug in this like container. All right. So even though I feel like, um, you know, this was her special bug, you know, that she was really trying to nurture and, and, um, you know, care for, the rest of these, uh, I don't know why I'm picking up like these. These were all your exes. <laughs> okay, spirit, come on, help me. Help me. I don't want to lose them. These were all your exes, okay? These are all the exes that did you fucking wrong, all right? But these are also all the exes that are now coming back. Okay, so maybe a lot of you have get, been getting like, you know, phone calls, emails, text messages from your exes. Okay, they're now starting to see your worth. Okay, but you're not worried about them. You're worried about this little bug that's in this container. Okay, and since you put so much energy into this little bug, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you started to maybe neglect some things. This could have been yourself. This could have been your kids. This could have been friends, family, right? But you put too much energy into, into that bug right there, your person, okay? And spirit had to bring this shit down. 
okay that's what i'm getting all right spirit had to bring this tower down bring this tower moment into your connection because it was almost like you were too infatuated with your person damn there we go damn spirit is saying you were you were way too infatuated with your person right and so this started to get in the way of you, you know what I'm saying, seeing your own potential. This started to get in the way of uh, a lot of things here. And spirit didn't want you to do that. Spirit didn't want you to put too much time and effort into this person because then you started to lose bits and pieces of yourself right like it's okay to love somebody but damn don't lose yourself don't lose yourself in it right damn that was a strong ass message thank you spirit okay so okay so there was a tower moment that happened in your connection this was very very devastating for you okay this was very hard i'm picking up a very um devastated my heart is starting to race a little bit. You were very um, just shocked by your person's actions. Like, I, I feel like somebody either ran across like a piece of information or uh, came across something online or, you know, you found out something that just really had your heart racing. Like, please, no, this cannot fucking be true. You know? Okay, let's keep going. Damn, that's only two cards, y'all. It's <laughs> only two cards. Come on, spirit, talk to me. Queen of Cups, look at this. That's you. Okay, you are coming out as the Queen of Cups, you guys. I'm trying to tell you what type of personality you have. You're very sweet, you're very generous. You know what I'm saying? You are um, just this nurturer, right? Um, we could be talking about a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. This could be your sign, your person's sign. All right. But I just see a very magical, um, a very magical person here, you know. And, and again, look at how she's holding this damn cup. That's your person. This is how infatuated you were with your person. No, I'm not saying that you didn't love your person. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm saying you kind of let the infatuation take over here. Right? You let the infatuation start to take over you. Okay? Wow. Mm, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm hearing that somebody's roots come from uh, Benin. Okay. If you don't know where that's at, go ahead and look it up. <laughs> okay, I see a lot of coral here, right? The people in Benin wear a lot of coral. Okay, what else do we have? Look at this. Yes. Okay, so yes. All right, so this is definitely your person's energy. Okay, your person has been wishing for you. Right? Your person's been wishing for you ever since, you know, they, uh, they walked away from this connection. Okay? They have literally been praying to the stars. Okay? Wow. Praying to the universe. I feel like your person uh, gazes at the moon at night, right? And talks to the moon. Um, wow. The moon and the stars. Oh, thank you, spirit. The moon and the stars right this person sees you as a healer 
right? You have a very, very strong presence about you. Okay, you heal people just by your presence alone. And that is crazy because I said this about uh, about my damn self. <laughs> if you're following me on Instagram, you should definitely go follow me over there. If you're not, God is platinum. Um, you know how uh, that's crazy. Like I did a video and uh, I was a, it was a walking video. I was walking in between two houses and, and I captured my aura in that video and my aura was was clear okay and uh you know I, I said a little bit about the clear aura people but uh one thing i know for sure is that i'm a healer you know what i'm saying and i'm able to heal people i know this about myself i knew this about myself before i even you know uh you know did my research on clear auras right and i knew that i was a healer you know so yes you're a healer as well your person feels all of your healing energy when they're with you even when they're not with you right they can still kind of feel some of that um that energy bouncing off of you onto them right look how she's just holding this like lamb right it's almost like like the healing energy is going to this little lamb you know while her I, I feel like somebody also has um some connections to uh Yamaya or uh Oshun okay there's some type of connection to water here right maybe you and your person loved to uh be near the water right i just see somebody's toes just like you know like uh kind of like floating in the water just a little bit just the toes right so i'm not sure if somebody has done that right but that's what i'm getting like somebody's sitting either at a pond or off a pier and just like letting their their feet just kind of like kick in the water <laughs> Okay, I don't know. That was a specific message. I'm not sure who that's going to be for. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, you guys, for sniffling my damn allergies, kicking my ass today. You know, it's like once you stop taking your damn medicine, that's when all hell break loose. Okay. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Two of Coins. Okay. So, yes, you had to make a decision here, you guys. You had to make a decision whether you were going to um, allow people to keep taking advantage of you, right? Or if you were going to take your energy and give it to somebody that deserves it, right? Because clearly a person didn't deserve it. They weren't ready for it. I'll just say that. I ain't going to say they didn't deserve it. I'll just say they, they weren't ready for this shit yet. Okay. Okay. Do we have any more coming out of here, Spirit? Any more? Before we get the raw tea. Thank you. Damn. Before we get the raw tea out here. All right. Let's see these other two. Okay. Ooh. Yes. Okay. So we got the emperor coming out here with the five of wands. So I feel like your person has definitely, uh, you know, been uh, fighting with themselves. That's what I'm getting. They've been fighting with their, their damn selves, right? About how they fucked up this connection with you. Um, your person may be coming off very stubborn. Okay. It's this, this is a very stubborn ass person. Like, you know, this person would rather fight themselves in their heads all day long. Right. Then tell you the truth about some shit. Okay. That's what I'm getting, you know? And it's like, uh, your person is... I feel like your person is closed off to communication with you at this time. 
I'm not sure what that's about, but it's almost like you're the reason why this connection is, you know, going the way it's going. I kind of feel like the ball is in your ballpark right now. So your person is kind of acting a little bit like... <laughs> Like the ball is in their ballpark and it's not, but they already know that it's in your ballpark, right? But they've really been fighting with themselves about this here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Should I reach out? Should I not reach out? Like, why the hell did you do that dumb shit? You know what I'm saying? It's it's kind of like that type of energy, I'm, I'm, but I'm still not going to say nothing, you know, because your person's sword is pointing down, right? Look at the face on him, on that emperor. It's kind of like a very cold, nonchalant, no communication, okay? So I feel like you're not in communication with this person, mainly because this person is being stubborn as hell, right? And they don't want to uh, own up to their shit. Okay, let's go ahead and get some tea out here. What's the raw-ass tea, spirit? What's the raw-ass tea about this person? What's the raw tea spirit? Okay. Oh, my nose is running. Oh, Lord. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. So the raw tea is somebody's a bugaboo here. Right? Maybe somebody here feels like their person is a bugaboo. You know? Um... Mm, maybe they were a bugaboo and you just wasn't trying to hear their shit. You know what I'm saying? I I do see somebody uh, kind of like ignoring their person, right? Maybe this person was trying to call you in the past or trying to text message you and they, you know, kind of like did it back to back to back to back to back. And they started, you started going, oh my God, you're being a bugaboo now. You know what I'm saying? Now you want to talk. Now you want to clear this shit up, you know, and they kind of maybe went cold after that. Okay. That's what I'm getting. All right. Protection. Yeah. You've literally been protecting yourself. Okay. Right. You've been protecting yourself from any negative ass energy, right? Anybody that is in your energy acting like this, okay? You ain't got time for it, all right? I do see somebody has a gun, okay? Somebody owns a gun. You see that gun behind her back? Somebody does own a gun, okay? Keep yourself protected, right? Stay safe, okay? And look at this. We got announcement revealing. Ooh, okay. So this person is going to be opening their damn mouth, okay? They're not going to be in this energy for too much longer. Okay. Somebody is about to start announcing some shit, okay? They're about to start expressing something to you, see? Because you spoiled the shit out of this person, right i'm telling you you were so infatuated with this person they became very spoiled by you right give me some more fighting for what they oh <laughs> spirits oh that energy is about to i'm telling you this joker is ready for battle <laughs> This joker is ready for bad toll. That's why they looking like that. They're like trying to gather their composure. Okay. This is like the calm before the motherfucking storm. They ready to come in. I don't care if you have somebody. Uh, look at this shit. I don't care if you have somebody. Look at this. They're about to fight for you. Okay. For some of you, this could be physically, all right? I'm just saying, be prepared, okay? They are about to come in here and claim what is theirs, okay? They about to get on this battlefield. Look at this shit. Ooh, okay. I'm just saying, just be careful. Just be careful. We got protection out here. So, you know, um, hmm, hmm. 
I'm starting to wonder for a lot of you, is this your twin flame? I'm not really picking up twin flame vibes here. That's crazy. That's the damn first time I ever set that shit on my channel. Look at this. We got fake friends. Okay, so your person is definitely around some fake ass friends that you didn't too much care for. Okay. Let's get some more. Running away. Yeah, this person ran away. This person ran away from this connection. Okay. When they started to get caught up in their shit, they started to run away like a child, right? They didn't want to uh, accept accountability or responsibility for their actions, so they ran. Okay, look at this sexual protection. Oh, shit. Okay. So I definitely feel like, um, you know, there were times that this person wanted to have unprotected sex with you. But you were just like, hell no, put that on, put it on, right? Get it on because mm -mm, we is not slipping up in here, okay? <laughs> All right, we got marriage certificate, okay? So for some of you, this person could be, um, you know, getting a divorce, okay? Breaking a contract with somebody, okay? Spirit is saying that this... So for a few of you, your person is going through a divorce right now, okay? This could also be another reason why this person is so quiet. Excuse me. Oh, God, I feel so bad for um, doing all this sniffling, y'all. Okay, let's get some messages out here from the moon since your person been talking to the stars and the moon. And let's see what moonology has to say give me the tea spirit what's about to happen here in this connection spirit what's about to happen here in this connection I don't know how the hell I'm going to the gym with a runny ass nose <laughs> oh All right. Ooh, look at this. A time for healing. What the? Look at this. I knew that was I knew that was going to fall. What was I saying at the beginning, you guys? I said you guys are healers. Okay? You guys have definitely been healing from this tower moment. Okay? You've been healing your damn self. Okay? Let's get another card out here a new romantic cycle begins Ooh, okay so i'm getting a few hits with this one you guys so either your person has learned their lesson and they're going to bring their ass back in here in a new energy or you have a new person coming in royals okay damn i didn't even get to shuffle and that just fell out expect powerful change okay so yeah, um, for a lot of you, this is this is your past person coming back. Expect powerful change. You know what I'm saying? I feel like um, I feel like this person, you know, could definitely have learned their lesson here. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, you're just gonna let this person go all together, and you're going to entertain this new person. Okay, so take it as it resonates. These are the messages that came out for you. Okay, if you resonated with any of this, be sure to hit that like button. All right, if you would like a personal reading with me, be sure to check out the description box below. Okay, it's your favorite goddess, Goddess Platinum, and I'm out.